So this is just a quick video of my bed and drawers set up in the back of my 94 turbo diesel Jackaroo. Uh, this setup could suit any number of four wheel drives with um, back seats that fold down flat. Just got the bed out of out for the moment just to make it easy to show you how it all works. Uh, this is really budget set up. It literally cost me nothing to do because I got all this material free from a mate who um, is a kitchen cabinet maker. It was just um, off cuts. So as you can see, the front part of the bed is just held up by the back seats. And you've still got room in here for a large esky. That's a pretty massive esky. So you could have a 12 volt in there if you want. There's also heaps of room under the footwells for more stuff under there. Basically how I've done this, this is quite strong. So just biscuit joints to the back of that. You could do that any number of ways but I just did it like that as it was easy. And then that front bit can um, basically go up over there for when your bed folds up and that actually pushes out the back and becomes a table that sits on top of the drawers so this back section all fits in tight like that you can see the um, back of the drawers from here I'll just walk around and show you the back of it So there's the drawers, as you can see you've got storage under here and you can see how it fits in over the wheels. With these drawers they don't have any rollers and quite easily slide in and out as you can see, heaps of space and um, they hold up fine, no dramas. That's just um, waterproof paint in there so you can throw wet towels or muddy shoes, whatever. And you, know, you can always put these plastic trays in there too. Um, the holes in the drawers work well because they allow it to air out as well. So that's basically it. So this is how um, the front part of the bed slides back. And sits on top of the drawers and becomes a table. So when I've got my um, marquee set up over the back here, this is a great little kitchen area for when you're camping and um, if you haven't got too much stuff on there you can actually lift this up and then access your drawers and um, coincidentally that rests on that handle there which is kind of cool. Another cool thing about this setup is once you move your stuff out of here you can still lift up your back seat and have ex access to this um, little drawer that's in the Jackaroo or the Trooper, which um, I thought was pretty cool when I first got this, when I discovered this little drawer. You can keep any number of things in there. Sawn off shotgun, if that's what you're into. <laughs> Whatever. So here it is with the, the bed in the back. And if you want a little bit of extra leg room, you just put your seats forward. These, these curtains are just held in by um, these um, spring uh, curtain rope. And they're basically just held in by these um, 
little eyelets that are just drilled into the plastic. If you didn't want to drill into the plastic you could always use Velcro or there's a number of other ways you could do it but I didn't really mind. And basically to fold it up you just this mattress is just one of the just basically a foamy. It's quite comfortable. I actually prefer it prefer it to my um proper bed. You just basically flick that over like that. Slide that in there. Sorry, I'm having to do this with one hand at the moment. You can still fit stuff on top of that. Still got room for your rescue down there. And that's it. Pop your uncle. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this video's helped. Um, if you're looking to put a bed in the back of your jackaroo or any other four wheel drive. Actually, one more thing. Um, if you want to get your bed level as well, I just grabbed these. Um, steps from super cheap auto you can put them on either side of your wagon and you just get different levels to get your bed level when you're sleeping these ones are for caravans but they work fine obviously for four wheel drive as well so that's it thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed the video